By the end of this video, you'll know how to connect your DJI mic to your camera, how to set the volume recording levels on both the camera and also the DJI mic, and also some important settings that you need to be aware of when you first start using this microphone system. So how does the DJI mic work? What you've got is a single receiver. This sits on top of your camera and then connects to your camera via an audio cable. You've also got two transmitters which contain built-in microphones or you can also attach your own microphone to these transmitters. When the system is powered on and the transmitters are connected to the receiver, the microphones in the transmitters pick up what you're saying and wirelessly transmit that audio signal to the receiver. The receiver then transmits that audio signal down the audio cable into the microphone input on your camera so the audio can be recorded into the video file. So what do you get in the box? First of all you get this audio cable. This is a TRS audio cable that connects the receiver to the camera. You also get this USB-C cable, this drawstring carrying pouch which is split into two separate sections inside and the DJI mic charging case which contains the receiver and transmitter and a few other things. When you open up the lid of this charging case you can see things light up, looks quite nice. You've got a bit of information here. First of all, it's telling you the battery level of the first transmitter, the battery level of the second transmitter, and also the battery level of the receiver. These numbers here don't give you the battery life left. They actually tell you how much internal recording capacity is left on the transmitters. I'm not gonna be going into backup or internal recording in this video, but I will be doing a more advanced tutorial. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications if you're interested in learning more about it. So this charging case has a built-in battery in addition to the batteries inside the receiver and transmitters themselves. The charging case itself can be charged with a USB-C cable. This will charge the battery in the case and also subsequently the batteries in the two transmitters and the receiver. So let's go and take the receiver out of the charging case. If it doesn't automatically turn on, you can hold down the power button here and after a couple of seconds, it should turn on. The first time you use the receiver, you'll be asked to choose a language and also set the date and time. All right, let's take one of these transmitters out of the box. If it doesn't automatically turn on, you can manually turn the transmitter on or off by pressing down and holding the power button. And this light shows if it's connected to the receiver. If it's solid green, that means the transmitter is connected to the receiver. If it's not solid green and instead it's blinking slowly, it means it's disconnected from the receiver and it won't be transmitting audio data. If we take a look at the screen on the receiver here, this icon lets you know which recording mode you're in. You can choose between stereo, mono or mono safety tracks. If you're just getting started, you can leave Leave this as the default mono. Just be aware if you use two transmitters then both of the audio from both transmitters will be merged into a single mono file so you won't be able to change the volume independently in post. This value here tells you how much receiver gain is being applied. So this is how much the receiver itself is amplifying the signal before it sends it down the audio cable to the camera. You can plug in an external headphone to monitor the audio. This icon here will tell you if an external headphone is connected. This icon here tells you how strong the signal strength is between the transmitter and the receiver. We've only got one transmitter being used at the minute, but if we turned on the second transmitter, we'd also get a second signal strength strength indicator. So you can use this to make sure both transmitters have a decent signal strength. This icon here tells you the battery level of the receiver unit. And here we've got information about the status of the transmitters. This value tells you the transmitter gain. I'll come back to this in just a minute. And there's also an icon here that will light up if you're recording into the transmitter. The transmitters have built-in memory that you can record the audio to as a backup, for example. And this indicator tells you the battery level of the transmitter. Transmitter. This little speaker icon here tells you whether or not the volume is muted on the transmitter. And if we take the second transmitter out of the box, you can see the display change now. Now we've got information for both of the separate transmitters. So now the transmitters are listing with their built-in microphones and transmitting the audio data to the receiver, but we still need to get that audio from the receiver into the camera so it can be recorded into the video file. If you have a look in the case here, you'll find this little hot shoe adapter. What you can do is attach this to the receiver here and slide this into the hot shoe on your camera. 
The next thing you need to do is connect the audio cable from the receiver to the microphone input on your camera. When you're plugging this cable into the receiver, be careful you don't accidentally plug it into the headphone port. Make sure you plug it into this port called out. You can then connect the other end of this cable to the microphone input on your camera. The next thing you need to do is set up the volume levels for the microphone and also the camera. So what we're going to do is start off with the transmitter here. You'll want to attach this to your shirt where you'll be using it and then you can start talking normally to help you set the volume levels. Just to make it easier to see what's going on I'm not going to attach this to my own shirt so we can see what's happening. So once you've attached the transmitter to your shirt or however you're attaching it to yourself, as you're talking you should be able to see this volume bar on the receiver. If this bar is going into any orange or worse still any red then the transmitter is set too loud for your voice. However if the green bar is not moving very far at all then the transmitter may be set too low for your voice. To adjust the transmitter volume go into the settings on the receiver and then you can change whichever transmitter you're using. The good thing about this system is that you can set a different transmitter volume or gain independently for each of the two transmitters. So if you've got one transmitter on one person that talks really loudly, you can reduce the gain. And if the second transmitter is on another person, for example, if you're recording an interview, you can set that transmitter differently depending on the second person's voice. So once you've adjusted the gain, you can go back to the main screen on the receiver, keep talking normally and check the recording volume. Once again, you don't want this hitting any yellow or red, but you also don't want it too low. I have found myself for my own voice that the default setting for the transmitter gain works pretty well for me. So once you've got the transmitter gain set for the person that it's attached to, the next thing you need to do is set the volume between the receiver and the camera itself. The first thing you're going to want to do is head into your camera's audio settings and make sure you turn off any features that automatically try to control the audio. So for example, you may have an automatic volume control or AVC feature which attempts to level out the volume, make sure you turn that off. And if you've got any wind noise reduction or any other processing, you want to turn that feature off as well in the camera. Then you want to set the camera's microphone record level to manual. You don't want to use an automatic setting here. And then adjust the camera's microphone record level up and down until the record level in the camera shows about minus 12 dB overall. So basically you can keep talking or ask the person that you've mic'd up to keep talking while you adjust the camera record level. Now you can just start recording on the camera and the audio will be recorded. You don't have to start recording on the DJI mic specifically as it's already transmitting that audio data to the receiver and down the audio cable into the microphone input on the camera. If you don't see any volume in the receiver or camera, make sure the transmitter is not accidentally muted. You can mute or unmute a transmitter by quickly pressing the power button twice and if it is muted this icon on the receiver will show up and also this transmitter LED will pulse red. To unmute a transmitter double press the power button again. If you're using this outdoors or it's windy you might also want to attach the windscreen attachment. You get two of these in the box you just need to align it with the microphone on the transmitter and then rotate to click it into place. If you're planning to use both transmitters at the same time, there's a few other things that you're gonna to wanna to think about, and we haven't covered a lot of the other great features that this system provides. Check out this video next if you really want to get the most out of your DJI mic system and take advantage of everything it has to offer. See ya.